What's up, YouTube? 大家好，我是 San Conan Chua. This is Ben Parker back with another YouTube video.、Uh, once again, this is not a Chinese Japanese video. This is uh, me uh, breaking down, going through my March Madness bracket.、Um, with all of you,、um, for those that follow my channel, you guys know that I、uh, did a video、um, giving kind of a list of my tips for success in March Madness bracket. And then I filled out my bracket and I kind of availed that to the world, if you will.、Um, and now I, I'm following through my promise to all of you, which is that I would actually share the results of my bracket. How did I do? What did I get right? What did I get wrong?、Um, are my ten tips, which I have here,、um, are they worth following at all?、Um, so that's the purpose of this video.、Um, And、um, I apologize in being a little late to this,、um, but now I have the time to do it. So let's get into it.、Uh, so first things first, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know what happened in college basketball, let me fill you in. So、um, Gonzaga, UCLA, Baylor, Houston were the final four teams.、Uh, Gonzaga beat、H、beat UCLA in an absolutely thrilling game、uh, with Jalen Suggs hitting a phenomenal half court shot to to win the game in OT. Um, and then Baylor blew the doors off Houston in the other semifinal game, which gave us a one versus one matchup of Gonzaga versus Baylor.、Um, and、uh, Baylor pretty much like dominated Gonzaga as as much as they did as they as they dominated Houston. Not quite as you know, not by quite as much, but Baylor came out as like the definitive like best team in the country and handed Gonzaga their first and only loss of the season. Um, so yeah, so once again,、uh, the final four consisted of number one Gonzaga, number eleven UCLA, number one Baylor, and number two Houston, and those being their seeds in the region. So、um, let me first get into what I got wrong. So、um, and I should just say quickly that the whole purpose of my video wasn't to tell you like how to pick; it was just to give you guiding principles by which you should do. And the guiding principle I think I got I actually held up well, but Uh, my individual bracket did not do so hot. I finished like forty point nine percent. How didn't do so well. I picked Gonzaga to go all the way. They they didn't.、Um, and、uh, Gonzaga was the only Final Four team I got right. So that wasn't good, y'all.、Um, I had my Final Four once again、uh, was Gonzaga,、uh, Texas, Illinois, Ohio State, Ohio State. They got beat by Oral Roberts. Ended up being a Sweet Sixteen team. That was a shock. Oral Roberts, this tiny little school, look like in Tulsa, Oklahoma, or something like that. Like a tiny little school,、uh, Evangelical Christian school. So like they believe in their Bible, which is good. Um, and then, um, and then、uh, Loyola Chicago beat Illinois.、Uh, Illinois got robbed, y'all. Like Illinois shouldn't have had to face Illinois Chicago, Loyola Chicago in the second round. That was kind of a bad matchup. Like. Uh, Illinois kind of got hosed there, but you know they lost and they should have beat them.、Um, and then Texas got beat by Abilene Christian, which was just embarrassing.、Um, so Texas and Ohio State were massive flops.、Um, and then Illinois got some bad luck by facing Little Chicago second round. And then you know Gonzaga, you know they they did go to the championship game,、um, weren't able to get it done. They overall they overall you know had a good run, a good season.、Um, so you know, but they、uh, you know. Came up short.、Um, so yeah. So my final four itself, my bracket itself didn't do great. I had a Gonzaga, Texas, Illinois, Ohio State championship、uh, final four. Only one of those teams I got right,、um, being Gonzaga, and I had them winning the whole thing, and they lost in the championship game. And you know, in hindsight, you know Baylor just was the better team from start to finish. We had the better team, and and props to Baylor for the way that they dominated. Uh, the competition, particularly the end, Baylor was just peaking at the right time. They just blew the doors off Houston and then dispatched of Gonzaga pretty easily.、Um, so,、um, so yeah, so my individual bracket didn't do so hot. However, this is what's key. However,、um, you know what I was trying to put to the test. You know, wasn't just you know, like I said, I wasn't trying to tell people what they should do with their individual bracket. It's up to you. You got to decide what your bracket wants to do. What all I was trying to do. Was I was just trying to give you guys principles by which to follow,、um, and then from there you got to pick the right teams,、um, following those principles. So、um, let's get into that 
part of it now. Um, and if you didn't watch the first video, I'll provide a link to that below um, so that you guys can you can guys can watch that if you didn't see that before. So um, you know um, you know um, in terms of like what I got right, you know, just kind of quickly recap the ten points. The ten points uh, were to don't shoot for perfection, shoot for a high probability. When in doubt, pick the higher seed. Eight versus nine is always a toss up. So that one, you can just pick whatever, it doesn't matter. Three was to don't have a team seed lower than fourth in your final four unless you are really confident in that team. Uh, four, four was don't pick 16 to 15 seeds to advance, to advance which went to walk on the wild side. Five, strength of schedule matters. Um, record versus 25, RPI, BPI, net, et cetera. Um, 12 versus five, and six feet spots for upsets. Um, uh, seven was remember the upsets are upsets. Eight was that coaching matters. Nine was injuries and 10. Just don't fall in love with the team. Use your head. Um, so um, I, I'm not going to go through the entire like um, tips again. That's why that video is separate. Um, let me just kind of cut to the meat of this. So <clears throat> what I got, what my principles got right, the thing I want to really focus in on is I said, do not have a team seated lower than fourth, meaning five, six, seven, et cetera, in your final four, unless you are really confident in that team. And if you look at how the final four shaped out, you had a one in Gonzaga, you had a one in Baylor, and you had a two in Houston, and then you had an 11 in UCLA. Okay, so three of the four final four teams were one seed or two seed. So that principle in and of itself um, I think held itself up pretty well, right? Um, really well, actually. And then there was the 111 seed UCLA, and UCLA was a shocker. No one had UCLA reaching the Final Four, um, you know. Um, but um, that principle I thought held up really well. So, you know, I you know I didn't pick the right teams to get to the Final Four in total. Um, but if somebody followed those principles and you know, correctly identified Gonzaga and Baylor and looked at Houston. Then they've gotten three of the final four teams right and got one of them wrong. I'm not sure who who was number one in UCLA's region. Um, yeah, Michigan. I mean, so you know, Michigan, Alabama, or te Texas, top three seeds there. So, um, yeah. So I think in terms of advice number three of being don't have a team seed lower than four. I think your final four unless really confident in that team. I think that. Uh, principle really held up high um you know and then some other interesting data points i do want to read to all of you um is um i did like 25 brackets okay 25 which is a lot of brackets um and um and what one of the things i do with these brackets is i go off of different statistical i focus on different statistical probability um uh, different statistical factors uh to consider and i picked that one factor to go all the way you know to determine who wins. Um, and while this year's NCAA tournament had a lot of upsets, we had, you know, Oral Roberts reaching the Sweet 16. We had 12 seed Oregon State in the Elite Eight. The Pac-12 crushed it, like crushed it this year. They did amazing in the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, in the end, the, the cream did rise to the top and the best teams did reach the Final Four for the most part. And, and you know, so, you know, while there were some upsets early on, it was a crazy turn early on. We had the Ohio States and the Texases that were all getting knocked out. There were some, you know, the, the best teams still made it through in the end. So, you know, this, this NCAA tournament was a little unusual in the beginning, um, but at the end of the day, the best team still advanced. So it's a reminder that, you know, Cinderella, these Cinderella runs do come to an end um, and, uh, the carrots almost always turn to do a pumpkin for Cinderella at some point uh, because Gonzaga and Baylor, the two teams left standing were not Cinderella. They were the real, real McCoy y'all. So um, we just kind of gave you some data, some, some data on how my brackets did based upon uh, on certain statistical things. Cause this is going to hammer home the, the fact that um, if you do pick the best teams to advance, your bracket will do well. Um, so um if you just focus on AP top 25 only, meaning if you make your prediction based solely upon higher seeded, you know, AP top 25, the higher team, AP top 25 advances alone. That's how it was the only metric you used was AP top 25. That was it. And the way I did that was 
you know, if the team received votes in the AP Top 25 and recent poll, but they weren't ranked, that bumped them up ahead of some team that didn't. So that's how I did it. So um, that got you to, if you just did AP Top 25 only, that got you to 74.1 percentile. Your bracket was 74.1 percent, was in the, you know, 74.1 percentile. So like one of the top 25 percent brackets, really good. Coaches poll, if you just did the coaches poll, uh, 71.7%. So the AP, the sports riders outdid the coaches, uh, which is interesting. Um, and then kind of going down the list here, um, if you just went straight chalk, you just went straight like higher seed advances, like, um, and with guns, if you know who the number overall seed which was, was Gonzaga, um, that was a 71.7%. So once again, higher seed advanced. Uh, if, you, if that was your metric, 71.7 percentile. That's pretty good. That's actually quite good. That's better than my, my, I was at my bracket, uh, Nanji Monkey Kings was 40.7 percentile. Not that good. Uh, so just going off the, off the seeds alone, straight chalk only, you call that bracket 71.7 percent. Okay. Um, um, my dog's bracket is better than that was sad. Um, okay. Um, this was a really interesting one. So if you just focused on BPI only, uh, which is basketball power index, BPI only, that bracket did really well, uh, 93.2 percentile. If you just did BPI only, your bracket was 93.2 percentile, okay? 93.2 percentile. Um, now, I should note that none of these brackets, based off those metrics alone, pick Baylor. They all pick Gonzaga, but still, 93.2 percentile for BPI. Um, RPI was 71.7%. That one wasn't as good, um, but that one started off really, really shaky, um, but in the end, it ended up rising to the 71%. So that one actually did pretty well. Um, if you focus on the net rating, I call this bracket for fun, nothing but net. If you just focus on net rating only, 83.6 percentile, 83.6 percentile. Um, um, you know, and then just for fun, if you focus on animal mascots only, that was also 93.8 percentile. So, you know, um, sometimes, you know, these things just are what they are. Um, but as you're seeing, just kind of recap once again, and if anybody wants me to like type into the, type into the, anybody who wants me to post um, what those were, I can do that. Um, I can type those as a comment. Um, but as a recap, AP top 25, 74.1%. Coaches poll, 71.7%. Um, straight chalk, set, which is just higher seed advances, 71.7%. BPI, 93.2. RPI, 71.7. Net, 83.6. Um, and that was it. So, um, um yeah, so, you know, if you, and then obviously the best bracket probably would be to, to do a composite, you know, of all those different ones and kind of add them up and whichever one, you know, has more of a certain category, you, you advance on. But as you guys could see, you know, the, the, while there were a lot of upsets in the NCAA tournament this year and it was a wild, crazy tournament, um, you know, the math, the math speaks for itself. Um, the numbers speak for themselves. And so if you just go off the numbers, you go off the math, you stick to the BPI, you stick to the RPI, you know, um, I mean, look, there's some things you're not going to get right, right? Like nobody saw Texas and Ohio State getting bumped out early, right? Like no one saw that coming. So some stuff's going to happen and, and everything. Um, but in the end of the day, um, the math doesn't lie, numbers don't lie, right? Um, and to kind of close this off, so once again, you know, my 10 tips have this successful March Madness bracket. How do my tips hold up? Um, while my bracket itself didn't do so hot, um, I think that uh, the tips themselves, if you pick the right teams, that's kind of, the, you know, that's the key. But if you pick the right teams, you stick to the principles, um, you really focus on the math of it as much as possible, and really focus, really kind of focus on it. If anything I, I could say is really focus on the BPI, the RPI, the Top 25 see who's best in those areas and just stick to those, um, really stick to those things hardcore, um, really stick to those things hardcore. Um, you should end up doing pretty well. Um, and um, 
And um, yeah, I mean, there's not much more I need to say. I don't want to ramble on any further, but just stick to the math, um, you know. And uh, you know, it's interesting as, you, as we see that the, the math itself won out in the end, for the most part. So um, yeah, so don't let this end of don't let this past end of a tournament trick you into uh, Jedi mind trick you into doing a crazier bracket next year. The math wins out, stick with that. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, we're all gonna get stuff wrong. It's part of the, it's part of the dance, it's part of March. So, um, and all right, that's, I just wanted to kind of quickly kind of follow up on that, um, give you guys my thoughts on my bracket and how my principles held up. Like I said, they held up well. I just didn't pick the right teams, but I wasn't telling you what teams to pick. That's up to you to decide after looking at the the advice I gave you guys. So um, on that note, I'm gonna I'm gonna close this video off. Um, if you want to uh, check it out, what I'm doing on social media, um, the handle is Slam Dunk Four Zero Six on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, and if you like my random YouTube content of basketball stuff, piano tutorials, um, and language tip stuff with my Chinese and Japanese journey, my Zhongwen and Nihongo. Uh, and also my Guanghua journeys, um, then uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.